Welcome back. To date, over 2,000 pharmacists have been trained to administer flu vaccines from over 1,000 pharmacies in London this year. So well done. Pharma Doctor has been listening to our members and we have decided to put out this short update to clarify any questions you may have. This video primarily focuses on Munivax and adrenaline formulations. Some pharmacists, when they received their Numinovax stock, were surprised to see that it comes not as a pre-filled syringe like influenza, but as a liquid-filled vial. Don't let this put you off. The process of administering is almost identical to preparing a meningitis vaccine. All you need to do is follow the following steps. Step 1. Obtain the correct apparatus. Munivax ampules from Sanofi, 1 mil syringe, 1 green needle and one blue needle. Step two, attach the green needle to your sterile one mil syringe. This will be used to draw up the vaccine from the vial. Step three, draw up the vaccine using the green needle. You can invert the vial if needed. I find this easier. Make sure you get as much of the liquid into the barrel as possible. This is just a quick demonstration of the inversion technique. Once all of the vaccine has been withdrawn from the vial into the vaccine barrel, remove the green needle and dispose of this in a suitable waste bin. Get your blue needle and banana skin the needle and attach it to the vaccine barrel itself. The vaccine is now ready to take to your patient. This part of the update addresses confusion as to which formulation to use during an anaphylaxis. In our training video, it was mentioned you have three options. As per Resuscitation Council guidance, your first line choice should be ampules, a 1 mil syringe and appropriate length needles. However, if you do not feel confident with this, you can use second line formulations such as a pre-filled syringe. You must ensure these pre-filled syringes meet Resuscitation Council guidance. Most notably, they must have a 25mm syringe needle for the 300 microgram dose or a 16mm needle for the 150 microgram dose. Secondly, you need to ensure you inject the right dose. Therefore, in a 1ml pre-filled syringe, you would expel 0.5ml for the resulting 500 microgram dose. Lastly, if you would like an all-in-one solution, Emeraid may be suitable. However, there are currently a few stock shortages at the moment of the 500 microgram dose. It has been recommended by the Emeraid manufacturer that two doses of Emeraid 300 micrograms can be used. However, your superintendent or local authority will need to approve this before it is used. The Resuscitation Council guidance specifically states that competent medical professionals, such as pharmacists, should go for the ampules as first line. Therefore, we have created this quick video to show you the most important steps in using that formulation. Step one is to remove the valve from the plastic packaging. Watch out, this can be a little bit tricky sometimes. The next step is to remove all the liquid in the tip of the ampule. You do this using a slight tap. The next step is to find the OPC dot, the one point cut. Put the vial in your non-dominant hand, in this case it's my left, hold the ampule so that the dot is pointing towards you. Place your non-dominant hand, thumb, as close to the OPC as possible, and then place your dominant hand, thumb, as close to the OPC stem as possible. Step four is to get a green needle, attach this to a one mil syringe, and withdraw the adrenaline from the vial into the vaccine barrel. When taking a sheath off a needle, make sure that your hands are steady so that when you pull it apart, your hands don't come back on each other. Step five is to remove the green needle and dispose of it in a sharp spin. After this, you can attach a fresh blue needle to the vaccine barrel and you're ready to administer.